Welcome back. So beacons.ai is the new kid on the block when it comes to maximizing the link space that you have on your social media profiles like Instagram or TikTok. It looks just like this uh, on the right hand side here. This is what the completed product looks like. So let's dive into, is it worth it? Do I like it? How's it compared to Linktree? And how do you actually set all of these individual elements up? Let's jump in. So first, let's start with comparing beacons to Linktree, which is better, which gives you the best bang for the buck, the best features, the best analytics, etc. So right out of the bat, I, I think Beacons is the better version of Linktree. It's the more recent version. It's a much cleaner design and it gives you a lot more for free than Linktree does. So this is the, I'm using the free version of Beacons here. Here is the free version of Linktree. Now, um, as you can see here, the, it, it's still effective. Um, it still works great. It gives you individual link analytics, but there's a lot more cool stuff like this uh, header functionality up here uh, where you add your profile, you can add a little description, you can add your social media links. You can also add in this video uh, that's embeddable and, and playable right in the uh, link here entirely for free. This is a paid upgrade for Linktree. So right off the bat, you're able to uh, include this extra feature that's entirely for free. I also like the design of Beacons a little bit more than Linktree. Here's all of the customization options uh, that you have. There's a ton of different themes here. I'm not gonna change it because I, I like how I have it, but you can add uh, color gradients and you're totally uh, free to control the font and whatnot. And then on Linktree, you still get pretty great customization. There's some pretty cool things that you can do here. Um, there's some fun free uh, widgets that we can, or uh, uh, free templates that we can look at. Let's look at the price comparisons between Linktree and Beacons. Uh, both have a wonderful, completely free option here. Linktree is six dollars per month meanwhile beacons is a little more expensive at ten dollars a month but it just gives you a lot more options here's all of the different options uh, that they both have so it's entirely up to you uh, if you are interested i do have an affiliate link for beacons uh, and Linktree in the description of this video. Both offer you perks if you use them to sign up and I get a little bonus from that too. So how do we actually set up our Beacons account? Well, it's pretty simple. As soon as you sign in, it gives you all of these options uh, on the homepage. So there's different sections here. Let's start with the header. That's this top section here. We would just simply click edit there. And we have complete control if we wanna make this uh, square or more rounded for your profile image. I uploaded a round uh, image so it makes sense for me to have that um, circular uh, image there. I can choose to display my um, uh, name there. I can add a distinct bio. You can even add your location in here as well. You can choose the format if you want it to be vertical aligned uh, or horizontally aligned. You can even control the uh, size of your uh, profile photo. You can easily add all of your social media links down here as well. And you can just click this add social link and you can add everything on there. Look, OnlyFans is even on here, pretty crazy. Uh, but there's a huge selection of, of options there. The next section down here is the video section. This is your embeddable video. Uh, you can, um, simply insert the link of a of your uh, YouTube. Oh, you can even do a TikTok or Vimeo. That's pretty cool. I didn't know you could feature a TikTok video. I'm learning on here too. Um, and what I love about this is is it's completely playable right in this uh, in this link. So when someone clicks on your Beacons link from uh, Instagram or, or TikTok or wherever you have it, uh, they can simply press play and it'll track that as a view. And YouTube Analytics even shows Beacons.ai as an external video view. So you can track analytics 
of the videos as well. Next from here we have the email and SMS section. This is another really cool thing that I don't believe that Linktree has to offer. So you can actually grow um, an email list or a text message list if you want to get into text message marketing right in here as well and it's going to store all of your emails and phone numbers that you're able to collect right in beacons and then you can send them uh, stuff as well. You can even um, set uh, MailChimp uh, which is really cool as well. You can link it to your MailChimp account. I have a MailChimp account as you can see uh, the video that I have on here is a MailChimp tutorial uh, as well, but that's awesome that it directly integrates into uh, your Beacons account or your MailChimp account. You can also set this About Me section here, and uh, I don't have this turned on right now, but it's just like a little uh, About Me section. Um, that's where it displays, and uh, if you want, you can also, you have total control over adjusting where this goes if I wanted to put that About Me section up top, or if I wanted to put it uh, below the header section. Um, as well. I'm going to turn that off though, so I don't like the look of that. The link section is uh, going to be the bulk of your page here. Now you can add as many links uh, as you want and you can even import from Linktree, which is awesome. And you can add a referral link here too, which is really cool because when somebody signs up using your link, you both get um, uh, a benefit. 30% uh, of any revenue generated from uh, those referred people. If you'd like to help me out and get a little bit of a bonus yourself, I believe you get $30. You can click the affiliate link for Beacons in the description of this video as well. Uh, but there's a lot of really cool options here. It also uh, checks the, uh, the click analytics. I'm going to show you the uh, analytics tab as well. This pulls you over there. We'll go back to this in a second though. Uh, but I really like that it has these uh, animation images so we can even schedule the links um, or we can adjust the animations kind of draws the eye to that link a little bit so you can have it you know bounce and it shows you what that looks like you can have it you know kind of wiggle like a little jelly thing I'm not sure why you would want that um, but I have it on my free SEO checklist because I want people to sign up for my email list Pretty simple here. You can even change the look of the um, the link layout, which is awesome. You can you know, block them. You can put different uh, images and, and whatnot. I like the you know classic thing here. You can add shadows below your buttons. Uh, you can outline them or not. You have total customization control, which I really really like, and I think Beacons did an awesome thing here. And then the support option down here. Uh, if you want to, this is kind of like a, a crowdfunding thing. If you want to gather a little bit of, um, you know, have your uh, followers donate to you, you can set this up via here and set up that Stripe account uh, and everything right there. So they, they just give you a full suite uh, of everything, uh, links that you can add in here. Next, the appearance section here. Uh, this gives you total control over the look of everything as well. Uh, the links, you can either do square uh, rounded, which uh, actually I'm gonna change it to that. I kind of, I kind of like that. Or you can do full width uh, across. I think I'm gonna actually change this to rounded, and uh, you can control the opacity here as well. That's what that looks like. Pretty cool options, and you can even control the uh, text of everything or the font of everything. It just gives you so much total creative control. The advanced tab here is more if you're actually paying for the service. Uh, I am not. I am using the free version, um, but you have access to, you can set this up on a, a custom domain. You can map it to a domain if you want. Uh, there's some extra custom marketing features, like you can install Facebook Pixel on here. You can install UTM parameters, Google Analytics, uh, SEO data, and even turn the uh, Beacons logo off that's down here. But to be honest, in the free version, you could kind of bury it even if you want. You just add more links and then the beacons icon is going to kind of continue to drop down. Now, the analytics section in here is really cool as well. Uh, you have full range. You can see seven days, 30 days or lifetime. Uh, I have not. I've only been using it for like two weeks, uh, but you can kind of see here um, the views of who actually clicked onto my beacons link 
and then once they were uh, within my beacons, how many clicks I've generated. So, you know, 75% click-through rate, that's pretty amazing. So, uh, Beacons is doing a fantastic job, in, in my opinion, and it breaks down um, everything. We can see the page view by day. We can see who clicked uh, my free SEO checklist here. We can see uh, who clicked my audit button, all of these different things. Even the social media icons, I can see if they they clicked my Facebook page, they clicked Instagram, they clicked on my TikTok, they clicked on my YouTube, etc. So overall, I think Beacons is a fantastic addition. I've even create uh, you can create your own one of these on your own website, but because of how easy this is and all of the amazing functionality, I decided to go with Beacons and I'm ecstatic that I decided to go with it. If you want more great marketing tutorials like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I have a really helpful SEO tutorial for you right above me. You can click on that video and I'll see you there.